Polycythemia vera is quite interesting disease. People have very high red blood cell count. Many have a high white cell and platelets. Many may have a symptoms, circulatory symptoms from those high numbers of, of the cells in the circulation. And uh, some may have a big spleen. So standard practice is to a majority of the patients uh, be treated with a phlebotomy and aspirin uh, and a cytoreductive therapy to normalize those blood cell count. Two thirds of the patients are given what we call cytoreductive therapy. One third is just fine with the phlebotomy and aspirin alone. But in that setting, uh, we have hydroxyurea, we have interferon, and we have ruxolitinib or jacafi as the cytoreductive therapies. And we usually, nine out of 10 times, treat patients first with hydroxyurea. Those that don't do well, 20% usually don't, uh, we then switch to ruxolitinib. And since November last year, we can actually, instead of any of these, utilize uh, Besremi, which is commercial name for ROPEG interferon, uh, which is uh, now full-fledged in NCCN guidelines, number one choice along with hydroxyurea as a therapy for people that need site reduction. So we are in a very good shape, but the reality is that there is room for more. You know, those therapies work very well in a good proportion of the patients, but we can enhance what we do by adding medications that would possibly even eliminate completely by adding it, for example, to site reductive therapy that I described, uh, completely eliminate the need for phlebotomy, uh, normalize the hematocrit below 45%, and that would subsequently, we know, decrease uh, the risk of dying because uncontrolled blood cell count leads to uncontrolled risk of blood clotting, and blood clotting is the main reason for dying. So adding, for example, investigational agent rusfertide, which is the hepsidin mimetic, uh, you would uh, allow uh, better control of iron, less iron in the bone marrow, which is different than what you want in myofibrosis. Here is less iron in polycythemia vera patients in the bone marrow, and no phlebotomy. So there is a plan for phase three randomized study uh, based on uh, extremely good results with Rusvertide in phase two study. Phase three study would be a randomizing patient with PV who have too many phlebotomies, whether they are on site reductive therapy or not, doesn't really matter. Most of them, as I described, are, but they are not uh, really responding very well. They have too many phlebotomies. They will be randomized between placebo and Rusvertide with the goal of eliminating phlebotomy need which again, for me as a doctor, means less of thrombotic risk and less risk of dying. So another new view uh, on the how to approach the therapy of PV, very exciting stuff.